I know he is a first seed, uh, and Dressy is, the, this is the third time he's on stream, pretty good duck hunt. Looks like both of them have scurried back, so I'm gonna mute myself. Hello. Dang, they started. <laughs> oh. Thanks for waiting for us, gosh. Yeah, you know, well, after the last match, we just assumed they were gonna take a while. <laughs> All right, so we got Drossy. We did watch them earlier. Oh, oh we're, we, we have Drossy and Lingling instead? Okay. Oh, yeah, so Drossy and Lingling. Uh, Drossy, very good duck hunt. And Lingling, you know, notable Peach main. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I actually do not like this matchup for Peach. Or, or Daisy, in this case. And why would that be? Uh, so Peach and Daisy traditionally... While they are very, very good characters, a lot of great damage output, combo potential, uh, great aerials, framed it is amazing. Uh, they they are limited in their movement outside of float because of their uh, air speed and their uh, ground speed. And they are limited in uh, the range on their moves. So it's very hard for them to get in on projectile heavy characters like Duck Hunt. Makes sense, because I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like Peach versus Zelda, and it's because of Knight just being able to box him out. So I would imagine that yeah. Duck Hunt, Side B, and Down B, and Can would all have the same effect of a large projectile like that, especially if you set up these traps. Um, it's going to be really hard for Peach to just kind of, like, maneuver around them. So that makes a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we've seen that multiple times where Drossy is using that forward smash to kind of call out Ling Ling trying to hit with the... Uh, the fair. And uh, that's one of Peach's biggest strengths, I feel like, is edge guarding. And um, we didn't really see that much there. Drossy yeah, just kind of got back on stage for free. Yeah, although we've seen for Drossy, they're very good at avoiding these uh, edge guard scenarios. Mm -hmm. Oh, they went for it all with that up smash, but ended up getting beat out by the back air. But look at this. See, like, knows to w when to go high, just barely avoiding the uh, aerials. Get out of that. Mm -hmm. And setting up the trap. This is... Oh, well, I was going to say. Is a no-fly zone. And now, setting it up again and just trying to rack on that percent. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on with Ling Ling's fares. Um, I think back air would be a much better option. I feel like it's a lot less committal as well. I feel like every time Ling Ling tries to overextend with that fare, um, they end up taking a lot of damage from it. So Peach I think back streams just love to throw that thing out there. I mean, I know. It's a great move. It hits so <laughs> oh, hard. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, we're back. We're back. I, I, I saw Drossy drop way too low real fast. I got scared for a moment. It would make it back, though. Honestly, even though there's a 40% difference, um, still a pretty even game right now. No, long... no, no this, is, this is actually a really bad situation for Ling Ling. Like, yeah. like being this behind a projectile character where like the matchup might not already be favorable in the first place. Like very soon is when uh, you start dying to can and that's when things get bad. But I guess you're just gonna die to that. That was a misguided side B onto the platform. You're also gonna take game one. Oh, yeah? I feel like my thought process when I said that before they <laughs> took like an extra 30% yeah. was like that Peach has really good combo potential. Um, just using a couple of those back airs could evenly yeah. tie it up. But that didn't happen. And also, yeah. Yeah, I just no, feel like Ling Ling is just trying too hard to get back to center stage. Like, I feel like if they were to just use turnips and play the game right back at them, it would be a lot better. Whereas they're trying to get in, they're trying to smack him with that Whoa. fairy, they're trying to hit the side Whoa. beat. What are we going to do? Ma'am, what? Okay. So, throwing the literal kitchen sink at him. I mean, oh. Okay. <laughs> Dr Wait, are they allowed to change? Drossy was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the heck? What's going on? That, that's uh, that is interesting. So, but yeah, I was gonna say like, like, like the reason like it was still wasn't that close is because like now that they're even though that like one combo could potentially get them back up, 
it would have taken so much work to get back in when you are forced to approach. And, you know, the can is great at creating a no-fly zone situation, so it's hard to jump or float over them. And mm -hmm. this, this cannot be a good idea. Yeah, I think the thought process is using that, the inhale, and also having a projectile of their own. But I I don't think this like, is going King, King DDD against a projectile character. Drossy's like, just getting the all like, of the large, heavy characters, I guess. That's just their yeah, entire tournament. We had Bowser, right, then we had the Green, then we had DDD. We just need to get a Donkey Kong in there, throw Timbo in there. It'll be great. Just well, the if gauntlet they, of the heavy. If they win this, they are set to play against uh, Chewie, who is uh, Mewtwo. So okay. not heavy, but they are in fact yeah. as big as a heavy. Yeah, Duck Hunt versus Mewtwo, that sounds painful for Mewtwo. <laughs> They're poor well, I, I don't know actually, Mewtwo is traditionally very good against owners. Okay, maybe not, we'll see. Uh, DJ Ooh. not gonna die from any of that though. He's, uh, he's very heavy. And Ling Ling, to, as, as much as we're clowning, to his credit, he is keeping this uh quite close. That, I was like, wow, this is really bad. But then I looked at the percentages. I was like, he's just not dying. Like, he still has that advantage. Um, and he could very easily take the stock very soon. Ooh. Oh, there it is. All right, now here's the hard part. When you're behind as a super heavy. Like, you gotta, like he's got to pull out the BS to bring this back. Oh gosh. Yeah, oh my trap. goodness. All of these traps. Now, now see, this just feels like pain. Yeah, I'm in pain and I am not currently playing. Yeah, oh yeah, and see, there's there's the uh, there's the uh, black outfit uh, sheriff. He's got the fastest gun in the West. <laughs> like, Drossy, like, like, Drossy's like, yeah, I know. Oh, and that's the one with the uh, shotgun. Bro. Yeah, no, this is bad. Oh gosh, it was pretty competitive, but as soon as he lost that first stock, as soon as he lost that stock, like, immediately upon losing the stock. Yeah, Drossy just has no reason to approach whatsoever. And they can Ling, do this Ling forever. Has nothing to force the action, like their comeback mechanic. Oh, oh my gosh, that dash is like definitely gonna kill. It's so scary. He's so fat. Yeah, but it's just not enough. There's. There's just no real opening for them to get in with something like that. And like, it looks like Ling Ling, the number one seed of this tournament's about to go into losers. I'm not a scientist, but I feel like a little can of explosives should not knock back a giant uh -oh. metal Well, oh, that, oh, that's your thing. problem. Th those aren't explosives. Those are beans. Oh, they're beans? That yeah, makes can, sense. It's a can that of, checks it's can, out. That's, that is a can of bush baked beans, and that's an <laughs> up air, and that's going to take the match. <laughs> <laughs>